what's up everybody back on trail it's odd there's a bike at the trailhead and then there's a Nemo tent down there just all balled up kind of odd <laughs> yeah we got a long day ahead of us it's all uphill all the way to where we meet the AT at Wildbald. So, once we get there, we're on the AT for a couple miles. It's about 8 o'clock, and I'm going to try to get, try to get 10 miles in today because there's no water. There's water in about three miles. And then there's no more water until the 10 mile mark. So, we'll see how it goes. It's all uphill from what Sunset was telling me. So, yeah, let's get on down the trail. Had an amazing, amazing stay at Chicken Sunsets. Got plenty of rest. So, let's get going. What's up everybody? That is one amazing view. But I've gone 2.1 so far. It's about 950. And man, it's just been up and up and up and up and up. 
everybody so it's a little after two right now and I've gone 6.5 but today is just flat out kicking my butt like this is it's a combination of the elevation the straight up climbs back down straight up back down and having six days of food in my pack I'm sure that's having a little bit to do with it, but yeah, I have no idea where I'll end up today. The original plan was to get to the next water at, and that was like 10.1 I think, but honestly I just don't know if I'm going to make it there or not. Um. I still have two and a half liters, so if I can't, I'll probably only drink a half liter between now and camp. But uh, if I can't, i got enough water to where I can camp. I just have to use it sparingly. What's up everybody? So I am wore completely out. Like today was just like the hardest day I've had on this trip so far. But did almost three thousand foot of no 
not almost, 3,100 feet and 8.2 miles and 1,700 of descent. Like, these ridges has just been straight up, straight down. It's been a rough day, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it. I did 8.2. I'm gonna cook dinner, drink a bunch of water. But anyways, I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to y'all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's about 15 to 8, and I just woke up. <laughs> Yesterday just wore me out. I got, I slept like a baby. But there is a 30% chance of rain today. I have no idea if it's morning, evening, night, what. So there's a chance we might get a little bit of rain. Yeah, the plan today is to find a stealth site somewhere because the next established campsite is Wine Spring on the AT, right where the Bartram Trail splits. That's only like four and a half from here. Then the next one is about 12 miles from here, or 13, somewhere around in there, after this little series of road walks. I can't, there's no way in hell I'm doing 12 miles. So, the plan is to find somewhere to stealth site, the stealth camp. It might be a little hard because of the way the terrain of this trail is and the undergrowth. But the plan is to try to find a stealth site between 8 and 10. Somewhere between there like I normally do. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm going to sit here, drink my coffee, get packed up. Hopefully it don't rain on me first thing. And... First thing coming up is Y Bald. We're about three miles from there. Alright, it's about 15 till 9 and we're up and going. Definitely feels like it's going, the wind's blowing in the storm or rain or something. <laughs> It's going to rain in a minute. And the trail up the Y Bald on the bar tram. It's hard, but good lord, this is beautiful. Man, this is just gorgeous.
underwater. Made it back to the AT. Shelter's that way. Why bald is 0.5 that way. Look at all the color right here. This is just beautiful in this fog. It's raining, but not hard. But this is just beautiful right here. That's it for day 18 until I get to Kyoto Bowl. And I've really enjoyed being on the AT talking to, like I just, I've met 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Satchin hikers. While I was sitting there eating lunch, four people showed up getting water. And you know, we sit there and talk for about 20 minutes. But thing is, I really hope I can find a campsite. From right here, eight miles to a to an actual campsite that's on my guy my GPX file and my map. That it, I've already I've gone 4.6 so far. I'm gonna have to stealth camp, but I really 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 hope I can come across something and I'm not on some kind of steep ridge or something like that the whole time. Wouldn't be bad if that wind would quit blowing. What's up everybody? So I'm gonna go ahead and end it for today. Finally, finally, finally quit raining. It's just been a dreary, foggy, rainy day. I could have, could have easily gone further, but there was absolutely no guarantee I would find a campsite. I just got lucky and spotted this. It's not an established campsite by no means. But it's the first spot I've seen all day. They didn't have a bunch of underbrush, like all that little green stuff out there. Like that's a, but tons and tons of it. Like every flat area I've seen today, you couldn't camp on it even if you wanted to. You would have poked a hole in everything. But this spot, the only thing I had to do was move a few sticks and it was good. There, there wasn't another established campsite. I would have had to done 12 and a half miles and there just ain't no way. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I did 7.2. But 
hopefully we have an alright night. I don't like the look of trees around here. So hopefully we don't wake up with a tree on top of us. And I hope you all had a great day. Have an even better night. And I will talk to y'all in the morning.